Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of my ARC Survival Evolve tutorial series. This episode is going to be on gathering berries and their uses, also drinking and spending some engram points on some badly needed recipes. Well, so far we've gone over the stats and icons and touched on engrams, but as we do all of this, we are getting hungry and thirsty. So I thought it will make for a obvious logical path for us to now gather some food and drink. So uh, those of you new to playing Ark realize that you don't have to kill dinosaurs in order to eat. In fact, we will start by picking berries. Then I will, uh, in another episode, show you the easy prey to get your first meat. But we will progress on to farming. And eventually we will, as we go along, get more and more meat, because eventually you'll get tons of it. Then we will just simply eat cooked meat and we will make new recipes to make even better food and meals. Okay though, let's start by gathering some berries, because that's where your food chain really starts. Now to gather berries, you'll go up close to a bush like this and press the E key. When you do, you notice at the top the berries that you gather and also that you gather fibre. Don't be surprised if you pick up stones as well whilst doing this that are laying loose on the ground. As you can see though, it's quite easy to get lots of berries. You just keep the, keep going around different bushes gathering the, the uh, berries up. And also the stones are very useful as well for when we get on to making more items. Oh there we go, we've gained a level just by gathering. You see so it speeds up your experience gain as well by gathering. So it really is all good when it comes to the arc. Okay let's just gather these last two and then what we will do is we will I will show you how to drink um, because you need water now later on we'll be able to make items that we can carry around with us uh, that can contain water so we can drink but bear in mind when it uh, rains and we have items like uh, with farming for example the rain will automatically fill our crop plots up for now though to drink notice that our drink level our water is on 78 so if we walk into the water just a little bit so get our feet wet and then if we press the E key you will notice that we then drink and our water gets topped back up so it went back to uh, 100 and dropped to 99 so there we are that's how you can get water drink water that is easy enough if you're near a water source if you're high up in the hills then obviously you're going to need to make a water source okay next important is eating so if we look go into the inventory we will see that here's all the berries we've been i've been harvesting now obviously i harvested a load of berries earlier uh, just because i didn't want to waste your time with that First to mention, when you harvest berries, you will also get the seeds. The seeds we can use once we have learnt the engrams for the crop plots, which are basically plots of ground uh, that we can plant the seeds in. And we will get loads and loads of berries that way, so we won't always have to harvest them with ourselves or our dinosaurs. We can eventually set up farms and grow loads, which is what I hope to show you in the future. But first of all though, we're on the subject of we've drank, so we've cured our hunger, our first. Next we need to eat, so we constantly are able to top our food level back up to 100. To eat, the three best berries to eat are the Azel Berry, the Ama Berry, and the Tinto Berry. You will notice for these three berries, it says, grows mostly in the wild and open grasslands, tasty and can be used to make red dye. Well, the giveaway for these three berries is the fact that it says tasty. So now, if I click on an hazel berry and then left click use item, you'll see that my food goes up by a certain amount. 
Now bear in mind, look at how many berries you can harvest. You can harvest absolutely loads of them. So if I eat a couple more, and then see what that takes me to, eat a couple more, and a couple more, there you go, see food top back up to 100. Did you notice as well that it also brought my water level up? Depending on what berries you eat though, is dependent on what stats it will affect. Now, for example, they're the free berries to eat when you're at the beginning of the game and hungry. The medjo berry, it, you'll notice gives you a clue when you hover over it. It says it can be used in for a nice to for, uh, it can be used in small or large plots but um, wait a minute that's because I'm over the seed but if I go over the actual berry itself you'll see that this says that whilst it's tasty so you can eat it if desperate it also has juices to improve other meals so basically it's telling you the mayo berry is a component that you can use in other recipes which we will be looking into and exploring in later episodes for now okay i would say store these up in a container when we get to it that you can to slow their rot rate i'll get to the storage for berries for now i'm just keeping them in my pocket i don't care about them rotting next let's look at the stim berry this fairly common white berry can be eaten in a pinch to recover food, stamina and lose torpidity, but it will de dehydrate you. Okay, what it's telling us here is it can be used for food to get our hunger up, it can be used to recover our stamina if we've been running or swimming a lot, and it can be used to lose some torpidity. Now. Let's show you one way that you can gain torpidity. Now, when I first started playing, I was eating all the berries without realizing and then wondered why I was lying unconscious on the ground. So let's show you. As you eat these narco berries, so let's eat some. I want you to observe what happens over here. So let's eat one, let's eat two, let's eat three, four, and five. Notice my torpidity going up now when it reaches a certain point guess what i'm going to be out cold on the ground not good if you're surrounded by lots of nasty aggressive carnivores so let's eat some more one two three let's see what that gets us to i want to show you what you get this to before you pass out see there you are we got to 50 torpidity as denoted by the uh, stars you see on the right and that's how long it's lasting so you basically when you knock yourself out through eating narco berries you wake up one day and you decide that you want to do something silly like eat a load of narco berries to knock yourself out unconscious then you have to wait for it for you to lose torpidity and then you wake back up like so <sighs> Now, if you had have been very clever, what you would have done was first, before you decided to do this silly thing, load up some stim berries in one of your quick slots. And then you could have eaten them to lower the torpidity as it was going up to counter the fact that you was being very silly and eating narco berries. Of course, you're not going to eat narco berries no matter i mean maybe if you're taking damage on your health and you're dying and you can see a bush ahead of you that you can pick then you maybe eat a couple just to get your your food up a bit but apart from that you're not going to be eating them they have a much better use which we will get to in another episode and it will be a good one okay so there we are that's the berries and the different uses there are other um, crops you can get. I'll cover them as we work further into this series. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover on that. Next, let's look at making a torch. So if I press the V key to go to recipes, let's make a torch. 
If we hover over it, it, you'll see it tells us, provides light and some warmth, doubles as a melee weapon in a pinch. Yeah, but we sure wouldn't use it as a melee weapon. One, it'll damage quickly. Two, it's hardly going to be in the, it's going to be ineffective as a weapon. But you can use it as one. So let's make a torch though. We highlight it. We click craft item. To make it, we, as you can see, we need one wood, one flint and one stone. So let's craft that. It will give us a bit of um, experience as well, crafting it, which is good. Let's now switch back to the pocket. Let's find the torch. There it is. Now, if I put it in my last slot and come out my pocket. Now, the two main uses for a torch. One, they will give you light when all is dark. So at night time, and let's say you've decided to go wandering in the forests and it suddenly becomes night time and very dark then rely on your torch to be able to see where you're going and secondly it has a very very useful option of keeping you warm so now if we see if I can bring up the cold icon there we go so I'm cold now for example if it says I'm cold and I'm walking along I'll bring the torch out and straight away you see the cold icon went because the torch will warm you up and because the torch requires so little resources to make it it's an excellent item you can make to grind getting XP okay so torches very very useful there we are okay let's finish with the torch I don't want to use that one up next let's make a, let's look into using some en engrams because I'm gaining all these levels through all this waffling yeah that's where I'm getting all the XP uh, from thank you Mike for pointing that out very nice of you um, basically if I waffle enough I'll notice the XP bar goes up quicker all right I'm only messing with you anyway let's spend some of these 29 points that we're accruing now the first thing that we got remember was the hatchet the next important has to be the spear so we can depend, defend ourselves so we will learn that we can now make a lovely spear the next important in my opinion because remember this is all only my opinion the next one is something we can't do without which is the campfire so we will learn that there we go we now have the campfire next I would say an important thing to learn is the storage box we need to start having somewhere to store all the items that will not rot. For the items that can rot, we could store them in there, especially when we get stacks and stacks of berries. So we'll learn the storage box. There you go. Notice that use those six points. Points are valuable. Make sure you're only using them for items you really want. And trust me when I tell you the items I've so far got are items you really want. Next, armor to protect ourselves and to keep us warm, protect us from the elements as well as the dinosaurs. Although I'll tell you now, for regards to protection against dinosaurs, well, laughable really, because they're very weak, but then it's very easy to make them. So let's learn the pants, let's learn the shirt, let's learn the gloves, then let's learn the shoes, and lastly, the hat. There we are, we now have all of them. But of course, we now only have two engram points left. But that's okay, because now we can have a lot of fun making a set of armor. Uh, we'll have a campfire when we get some meat eventually, and also to keep us warm in addition to the torch. And we've got a weapon to protect ourselves with. So, um, what we'll do now, let's quickly make ourselves a spear. Okay, so we will bring up the crafting window. Now, to make the spear, we need some wood. So, in order to get wood, what we will do is we will use our hatchet and chop a tree or two. So, if I come up here, let's put the hatchet in our hand and then left-click the tree, we will gather loads of wood. Look at that, loads, 20 wood. Now, if we go to our crafting window... We can now craft the spear, so let's craft that. You see how beautiful the crafting in is in Ark. It is just pure fun, enjoyment and pleasure. Now notice I got a hit on my experience through crafting the spear. 
Now that we have the spear, let's drag and drop it to slot 3. Now, if I press the number 3 key, I can switch to my spear. And watch out any dinosaur that now wants to try and attack me. So there we are. Now there, I will show you using the spear because there's two main fighting actions with it and I will give you the pros and cons of that. For now though, let's switch back into the crafting window and craft ourselves some armour so we don't keep getting cold. And also if we're attacked, we will be have a little protection. So let's craft the shirt first of all. We will get more experience again. Okay, so there's a shirt. Let's craft some pants. Although that's funny because in England that would bear, be a pair of underpants, not a pair of trousers. But never mind, that would be drifting. Let's now craft a hat. Notice we never had the option to craft the shoes or the gloves. The reason being they need hide. We will have to go killing animals uh, that provide hide and we will do that possibly in the next episode. For now, let's look at what we have now got. Okay, so we made three pieces of armour. Shirt, pants and hat. Notice before I put them on, I want you to observe the armour. So you can double left click or drag and drop. I'm going to double left click. Okay, notice the armour went up to 10. Also, notice it gave us some protection against the elements. Now let's put the pants on. Notice it's given us 10 more armour and more protection against the elements. And lastly, cloth, a uh, hat. Let's put that on. There you go. So we've jumped up 10 armour per each piece of armour. We now have 30. We also have some insulation against heat and cold. With the different armours, they have different effects. So from here it tells us provide some protection from the heat and cold, but only minimum protection from injuries. We appreciate and understand that because this is the first easiest armour we can make. As we progress, we will make better armours and thereby get better protection from damage. But with some of the better armours, they will lower our protection from the elements. So it's important for us to understand what armours best protect us. For now, it's good enough to know that we're starting to look like, well, you know, we're starting to look like at least not a naked person running around looking extremely desperate or a lump of meat for the carnivals. At least we're starting to cover up their meals, which has got to be a good thing. But there we are. That's using a few engrams, making a few useful items. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed our further adventures into Ark. Goodbye.